Hello everybody. This time I'm trying to achieve the marble effect in this wonderful Kintsugi mold. Um, this mold, as, as many people maybe already know, is from Mold and Shapes from the Netherlands. And for more information, please take a look on my description box. And if you are interested in this mold or any other of their molds, um, please use the promo code PT5 in order to receive 5% five, 5 discount of, on every purchase you do. Anyway, um, so now you see me mixing my paste and it's a white pigment paste from Depot. And I'm mixing this into my resin and the resin is the Art Pro from Resin Pro. And it's a resin I'm normally always using, with some exceptions. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I don't want the um, white to be too opaque. That's why I'm taking only a little bit of the pigment paste. And I'm just mixing this well in. And, yeah, I see if... You know, I mix it as long as, as I have the white I want to have. It looks really milky, creamy, but I think it's a little bit too transparent at the moment. So I'm just adding a tiny, insy bit more. You see, it's really not a lot. And I'm really stirring this well in. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Yeah, I'm really curious if I achieve a nice marble effect. And if it works, I, I for sure will also make the coasters together with the coaster holder. Yeah really looks creamy almost. I like it. So um, now I pour a little bit of my um, white into a cup and I will be adding or I'm adding um, a little bit of the black pigment paste from Depot. You will see it in a second. I'm just taking a little bit. I stir my um, pigment paste always up before I, I use it. And yeah, cleaning my stick. And I'm only taking insi bit as you see. So I have a dark gray um, shade. Yeah. I hope it's not too dark. I was not 100% sure, but we will see. So closing this up, putting up everything away. Have my paper towel, clean my table a little bit. And now I'm going to pour the white into the mold. But only um, so I'm covering the mold. I'm not filling this completely up. Yeah, going along the edges. And in the center, and it's really looking like milk. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> milk ice cream. <laughs> so, this is my white done. And next, I'm taking a little bit of the black. 
and I can already tell you I mixed up too much of the black. You only need a eensy bit. So next time I know that I can cope with half of the amount. So I'm just pouring in a little bit. And at this moment, I'm a little bit afraid that, you know, that I maybe took too much black, that it gets too dark. But, well, you never know. With resin, sometimes it's very unpredictable. So, um, yeah, there I'm blending my colors, my white and my black or my gray. To hopefully achieve a nice marble effect. Yeah, using the heat gun for quite a while. But please be careful that you are not standing too long at one point. Because um, the heat can really damage the mold. And um, we don't want this. This would be really a pity if this happens. I was lucky so far and never had any problems, also not using the torch, but yeah. Anyway, I keep blending a little bit and now I'm taking the rest of my white and I pour it up to the top. Yeah, just pouring. And yeah, it's rather full. I think I used around about 600 grams of resin for this. Then I'm adding a little bit of the black. Because it was very white up the top. So I thought just do it. And now I'm taking the heat gun again. And blend everything. Yeah, at that point I thought, hmm, I hope it's going to work. <laughs> well, you never know. Yeah, I keep blending. But like I said, be careful not to stand too long at one point, not to damage your mold. So. Now I'm taking a little bit um, of my white because there was still white left and I thought, um, yeah, just put it a little bit around. I still had a little bit space in my mold, so. And yeah, that's me sorted. Um, this is now 24 hours later and the marble effect is very, I like it very much. It's also not so dark as I um, expected and yeah. Taking my tray out of the mold, you see it goes rather easy. And I'm very, very curious how the back side looks like, the Kintsugi side. And yeah, I like it. It's very uneven with my black, but 
I think, you know, that's what marble is. It's not, you know, perfectly at every side. So I really, really like it a lot. So now I'm showing you how I'm doing my golden linings. And oops, yeah, <laughs> I was lucky that I didn't drop all my gold on my um, tray. So I have those squeeze needle bottles and I'm just going along those lines. Just taking my time and um, yeah, sometimes I have to squeeze with two, with two hands just to get everything um, in front. And yeah, I'm doing my lines. Um, for the gold, I'm using the Extreme Sheen from um, Deco Art. It's the 24K gold. And for gold lines, I think it's, it's the best you can use for, for me, for me personally, because I like this gold a lot. Yeah, there was something stuck on my um, needle, so I needed to clean this. And I go further. I'm not going to show you the whole process because this would be too long. Um, I only show you a little bit. because the rest will be the same and yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I need to clean this up a little bit. And look now, this is now the finished result or the finished product. And I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching. I hope to see you for my next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.